Keith Urban is gearing up to help contestants as the mega mentor on The Voice Season 25, but he's also giving props to another former coach for something that's especially close to his heart. Ahead of appearing in the knockout rounds that started airing April 8, the country music superstar took notice of former voice coach Kelly Clarkson singing one of his hit tunes for her Kelly Oak segment on The Kelly Clarkson Show. When the daytime series posted her cover of his 2002 song, Somebody Like You on X, formerly known as Twitter, on April 2, Keith couldn't help but be blown away by how great her rendition of the track was. This led him to reply with how impressed he was by the performance, along with voicing a question about whether Kelly takes requests for future song covers. When folks caught Keith's public thoughts about Kelly's rendition of his song, Many began pleading for this to lead to an even bigger musical moment. I'm thinking a duo remake of this would be a good collab, don't you think? One person commented on X, she does. Let's get a legit Keith and Kelly duet. Another agreed, at Kai Thurban at Kelly Clarkson need a collaboration to do the two of you, Pauls. T.Y. A different follower implored. While well, we'll just have to wait and see if this manifestation comes to life, fans may be interested to know this isn't the only time Kelly has performed one of Keith's songs on daytime television. During a March 2022 episode of The Kelly Clarkson Show, the host covered his 2005 track, Tonight, I Wanna Cry, proving her vocal and musical range is always something to watch. The sun was setting over Nashville, casting a golden hue over the sprawling city known for its rich musical heritage. It was in this magical twilight that country superstar Keith Urban found himself reaching for his phone. He had been thinking about a dear friend and fellow artist, Kelly Clarkson, whose radiant smile and powerhouse voice had made a lasting impression on him and millions of others. Today, however, his thoughts were not just about music. They were about family love, and a shared passion that transcended the stage. Keith's heart warmed as he recalled the times he and Kelly had shared on The Voice. Her energy was infectious, her laughter a melody of its own. They had bonded over their mutual love for music, but also over the challenges and joys of parenting. Keith admired Kelly's strength and resilience, especially given her recent personal struggles. She had been a pillar of positivity, even when life had thrown curveballs her way. Today, Keith had a special reason for reaching out. His daughter, Sunday Rose, had recently discovered Kelly's music and had become an ardent fan. It was her birthday in a few days, and Keith wanted to make it unforgettable. As a father, he knew the power of little gestures and surprises that could light up a child's world. He wanted to do something extraordinary for Sunday Rose, and he knew just who to turn to. With a hopeful smile, Keith dialed Kelly's number. It rang a couple of times before her familiar voice answered, full of cheer and warmth. Hey, Keith. Long time no see. What's up? Kelly greeted, her voice carrying the joy that always seemed to accompany her. Hey, Kelly. It's so good to hear your voice. Keith replied, his tone matching her enthusiasm. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to talk to you about something special. Of course. What's on your mind? Kelly asked, curiosity peaked. Keith took a deep breath, feeling a mixture of excitement and nervousness. So it's Sunday Rose's birthday this weekend, and she's become a huge fan of yours. She listens to your songs all the time and even tries to sing along. I was wondering if you'd be willing to do a little something for her. Maybe a video message or, if possible, a quick call on her birthday. It would mean the world to her. There was a brief pause on the other end, and then Kelly's voice came through, brimming with emotion. Oh my gosh, Keith, that's the sweetest thing ever. I'd be honored to do something special for Sunday Rose. How about we go a step further? Why don't I come over and surprise her in person? We can sing a couple of her favorite songs together. I think that would make her day. Keith's heart swelled with gratitude. Kelly, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. She'll be over the moon. They spent the next few minutes discussing the details, setting a plan in motion that would bring joy not just to Sunday Rose, but to everyone present. As Keith hung up the phone, he felt a sense of anticipation and excitement.
This was going to be a birthday his daughter would never forget. The day of the party arrived, and the urban household was buzzing with activity. Balloons and streamers adorned the living room, and the aroma of freshly baked cake filled the air. Sunday Rose was giddy with excitement, surrounded by friends and family. Unaware of the surprise that awaited her, Keith had arranged for Kelly to arrive just as they were about to cut the cake. He kept an eye on the door, his heart pounding with anticipation. Finally, there was a knock. Keith glanced at his wife, Nicole, who gave him an encouraging nod. Sunday Rose, can you get the door, sweetheart? Keith called out. Sunday Rose trotted over to the door, her face lighting up with curiosity. As she opened it, her eyes widened in disbelief. Standing there, with her trademark smile and a guitar slung over her shoulder, was Kelly Clarkson. Happy birthday, Sunday Rose! Kelly exclaimed, kneeling down to give the stunned girl a warm hug. For a moment, there was silence as Sunday Rose processed what was happening. Then she let out a joyous squeal. Kelly Clarkson, oh my gosh, it's really you. The room erupted in cheers and applause as Kelly stepped inside, immediately enveloping the space with her vibrant energy. She gave Keith a grateful smile, and he mouthed a silent thank you in return. Kelly took a seat and pulled out her guitar. I hear you're quite the singer, Sunday Rose. How about we sing a song together? Sunday Rose nodded eagerly, still in awe. They chose one of Kelly's hits, Because of You, and as Kelly strummed the opening chords, the room fell silent, captivated by the impromptu performance. Sunday Rose's voice, sweet and clear, harmonized with Kelly's, creating a beautiful blend that brought tears to many eyes. After the song, Kelly handed the guitar to Sunday Rose. How about you play something for us? Sunday Rose, though a bit nervous, took the guitar and played a simple tune she had been practicing. Her fingers moved hesitantly at first, but with Kelly's encouraging smile, she gained confidence. By the end of her performance, the room was filled with applause and cheers. Keith watched with pride as his daughter basked in the joy of the moment. He knew that this day would be etched in her memory forever, not just because of the surprise, but because of the love and encouragement she had received from someone she looked up to. As the evening wound down, Kelly spent time chatting with Sunday Rose, answering her questions, and sharing stories from her own childhood. The bond they formed in those few hours was heartwarming, a testament to the power of kindness and the impact of role models. Before leaving, Kelly handed Sunday Rose a small wrapped gift. This is for you to remember this special day, she said with a wink. Sunday Rose unwrapped the gift to find a beautiful charm bracelet, each charm representing a different milestone in Kelly's career. Thank you so much, Kelly. I'll treasure this forever. Kelly gave her one last hug. You're welcome, sweetie. Keep singing and following your dreams. As Kelly walked to the door, Keith accompanied her, his heart full of gratitude. Kelly, I can't thank you enough. You made today magical. Kelly smiled warmly. It was my pleasure, Keith. Seeing the joy on Sunday Rose's face was worth every moment. She's a special girl, and she's lucky to have a dad like you. They hugged, and with a final wave, Kelly left, leaving behind a house filled with joy a little girl whose dreams had been touched by a star. That night, as Keith tucked Sunday Rose into bed, she looked up at him with shining eyes. Daddy, today was the best day ever. Thank you for making it so special. Keith kissed her forehead, his heart full. I'm glad you had a great day, sweetheart. Always remember that you are loved and never stop believing in your dreams. As he turned off the light and closed her door, Keith reflected on the day's events. It wasn't just about the surprise or the music. It was about the love and connection that music could foster. In reaching out to Kelly Clarkson, Keith had not only given his daughter a memorable birthday, but had also reinforced the importance of kindness, generosity, and the magic that happens when people come together to create joy. For Keith, it was a reminder of why he loved music so much. It was a universal language, a bridge that connected hearts and minds. And in the glow of that connection, both he and Sunday Rose had found something truly special.